one of the terms we used in balanced view is group wisdom and this is something that I was uh, interested in but I didn't know how to implement it which means group wisdom means that we listen and regard and consider the innate wisdom of each one of us each one of us it's all of us all seven billion of us more or less each one of us we have an amazing capacity to be wise totally clear and empowered in all situations but we learned something else I definitely learned something else I learned that I'm kind of a broken piece of something that needs to be fixed to fix himself all of his life and hopefully at one point after lots of effort and trying and hoping and fearing that it won't come maybe then I'll feel some kind of okayness and I'll die Now, if somebody would tell me that this is the life proposition and, and the, the value of life, I would try to go back into my mom's womb and, and stay there. <laughs> but if we hear that we are totally exalted all of the time, that everything about us is naturally perfect, completely aligned with reality, that all of the definitions, all of the data, thoughts, emotions, sensations, and experiences, we have a choice how we want to define them. So it's not like reading a book and say, oh, I'm so messed up because I'm depressed. It's actually seeing that once the datum of depression arises, for example, did you ever feel depression? Raise your hand. <coughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so um, <coughs> once I feel depressed, it means that first of all, I'm connected. I'm alive. I'm a human being. OK, that's a first step. Then as a first step, I can take full responsibility to empower myself in this situation rather than going into the primitive ways of describing everything. Oh, I'm depressed, it's because of that, I need to fix it, help me, I'm such a flawed, miserable person, and so forth. So depression arises and immediately we have the opportunity to recognize its essence as opening intelligence. It's a reminder. In the beginning it f can feel like a reminder. Uh, but then more and more you get used to that, that you just want, really want and choose to recognize opening intelligence rather than focusing on data. So opening intelligence to know what it is and if you also been around for a while and you start to intellectualize it, just stop thinking for a moment. What remains? A sense of alertness and openness, cognizance remains, like a cloudless sky, like the clear blue sky that we have in the last couple of days. This is open intelligence and it's always present. So to think and assume that open intelligence is a special state, that's highly primitive. <laughs> and it's a big, big mistake. Special states are ideas that somebody chose to describe and you maybe chose to adopt, but that's not a goal. Open intelligence is not a goal. It's always present. Now you've been introduced, you know it already, and now we want to train it up. So for me, when I heard in the beginning that it's not a special state, it was like, <laughs> so many ideas just died. They died, collapsed outshone by the power of open intelligence. Wait, it's not that you are blissed out all of the time? No. It's not just when you have positive thoughts all of the time? No. It's not that you are always happy? No. What's, what's wrong with you people? Why, why, why do I come here and listen to this bad news <laughs> about me not needing to be always blissed out and always this and always that? You know, we want to take it back to reality. We are in reality, so we want to take it back to reality. We don't want to build more ideas, you know, and descriptions galore about the beauty of existence. We want to take it back to reality. What to do when the rickshaw drivers, there are not many rickshaws in Arambol, I know there's once every week, but what to do when it beeps too lo long or there is a really annoying trans party or you are you're fighting again with your partner about again the same topic, again in the same situation. <laughs> so the solution is very clear, what to do right there and then. Should I, okay, I can jump into the way of, that I used to behave before, describing everything, okay, I'm so flawed, she's definitely more flawed than I am. We are so flawed, this relationship is about to end, uh, my God, who can help me, no one can help me, I'm alone and miserable. 
Okay, if this is one option, let me think for a moment. And if there's another option, that is simply to allow the data to be exactly as, they, as it is. To allow it to be as it is, like you would allow the pristine space that we are sitting in right now. We are sitting in space, by the way. Uh, if you allow it to be as it is, space remains space. You are remaining exactly as you are. There's, there's nothing to do about our data. We don't need to micromanage it, and that's the big mistake that uh, I, I had when I didn't have the education in the nature of mind. I constantly micromanaged my data, and I assessed myself based on my data of the day. So lots of negative states, bad day, bad relationship. Good positive states, great, I'm on the right track. Neutral states, something needs to change. Do you know what I'm talking about? Now we don't have to continue like that, so this is the good news of the four mainstays. You can if you want to, and that I find so incredible in this training. If you want to, you can choose to be a victim for the, for the rest of your life. Anyone? You can totally choose to be a victim for all of your, of all, for all of your data, for the rest of your life. I won't recommend it, but you have the choice. In the same way, you can choose to be totally empowered, enlivened, and, and excited by the power, the beneficial power of opening intelligence. Beneficial power of opening intelligence is within us, so it's not, again, not something, okay, I will achieve it in 100 short moments a day for 30 days, you know? No. It's every time that you choose to rest and recognize this instinctive open intelligence that you recognize when you stop thinking, then you enliven this beneficial potency. So every short moment is important. Every short moment of opening intelligence is important because when they are repeated many times, they, their recognition becomes continuous. And this is my experience as well. And the four mainstays, they support everything about it. So if you just come here, take the short moments, it's not enough. It's like I will give you uh, a cell phone without a screen and no uh, reception equipment and no SIM card. Want? No. But when you receive a complete package, you want to take it. And this is what we do all over the world. We offer a complete support structure of a practice, a simple practice that even anyone can understand. You just take short moments. W what there is to think about? Nothing. You just take short moments of instinctively recognizing open intelligence. And then we have the training, the trainer, and the community. And the community is a very, everything about the four mainstays is very exciting. And the community is so amazing because you might be there in a state of total bewilderment and, and shock of, of the state of the world and your data streams and all of that, and then you meet people who are actualizing reality and its beneficial capacity on a day-to-day -day basis, everyday life, down to earth, all over the world as we are speaking. Now this is a demonstration of something totally amazing that wasn't available before for human beings. It maybe was available, but not in this form. So you see, rea realizing that all of us are now standing up and claiming this power, choosing not to be a victim of our data streams, that's, that's a, a really good thing that is happening right now. So this is how we build community in balance. You rather than the communities that are based on we are better than they, you know, this kind of all, all kind of bias and prejudice or gossiping, the small, small, close system of a family unit, a traditional family unit. Here we're opening up our, our hearts and mind within open intelligence and we, for the first time, connect. How beautiful it is. For the first time, we connect to other human beings, not assuming that we are somehow separated and apart from, from other people. Connect. Not in a contrived way, please. That's boring. Connect on a deep, deep level of deeply, first of all, understanding our own data streams, seeing them fully, allowing them to rage completely, and resolve naturally like a flight path of a bird in the sky or a design drawn in space. You know, I can, design, I can write anger, same space, nothing happened. Depression, 
inseparable. I can try in different languages, staying the same. We are powerful all of the time. You choose it, then you get to know it. Everything about the Four Mainstays will support it completely. You won't receive any kind of, you know, when, when you come to an open meeting or when you participate in the written trainings, it's not like there is uh, some kind of, you know, when you buy something and there's all the instructions and then really, really small letters that you can't see. What, and you, there's nothing like that. Everything is given with great generosity and then the responsibility is of each one of us.